Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mitchell Goldberg, and I'm the second vice president of the Decalogue Society of Lawyers, and I'm very pleased to welcome you to this afternoon's presentation on protecting our children in the Jewish community from child sexual abuse. The greatest nightmare of any parent, family, or community is harm caused to our children, and it's important for all of us to unite in protecting our most valuable and vulnerable population, our children, from those who would abuse them, including within our own communities. Ignoring the danger is not an option. So thank you for making the time to come out today to listen to this pr presentation. I'd also like to thank all those who made this event possible. I'd like to thank the Office of the Cook County State's Attorney, DePaul University College of Law's Center for Jewish Law and Judaic Studies, the Chicago Police Department, Congregation Ezra Israel, and the M.R. Bauer Foundation. Thanks to those who gave up their time to help organize and assist with logistics, including Rabbi David and Beth Burkell, Ed Chubin, Oren Downsky, Jan and Sherwin Mishkin, and special thanks for the tireless efforts of Decalogue's Executive Director, Aviva Pat, and Ezra Israel's Executive Director, Zevi Ashkenazi. My most special thanks to Jerome Katzen and his wife, Robin, for their efforts and support. And of course, I'd like to express my sincere thanks to our very distinguished uh, panel and our moderator for sharing their time, their knowledge, and their experience in addressing this very important topic. I also want, want to uh, extend my appreciation and warm welcome to uh, Decalogue's president, Dee Bauman, for, for attending today. Professor Stephen Resnikoff is a professor at DePaul University College of Law, and he's graciously accepted the invitation to serve as moderator for, for this event today. He serves as the co-director of the Center for Jewish Law and Judaic Studies at DePaul. He's an internationally known scholar who has written and lectured extensively on a wide variety of subjects, including alternative dispute resolution, bankruptcy, commercial paper, legal ethics, and medical ethics. Drawing on his formal Talmudic training, as well as a law firm experience, Professor Reznikov analyzes these issues from both secular and religious perspectives often exploring how these disparate systems interact. As holder of DePaul's prestigious Wicklander Chair for Professional Ethics in 2001, he focused on honesty and integrity in the legal profession and in legal education. His purely commercial law writings have also commanded attention. His proposal to amend the bankruptcy code made in is, is it morally wrong to depend on the honesty of your partner or spouse, bankruptcy dischargeability of vicarious debt? was explicitly endorsed by the American Bar Association Ad Hoc Committee on Partnerships and Bankruptcy. His works have also been cited favorably by academics and courts. Without further ado, I introduce Professor Stephen Resnikoff. <laughs> 